the fact that the minister has come out with a, a ban on prospecting and mm -hmm. cognizance as well as exploratory activities in forest doesn't mean that certain people will not uh, flout be, yeah, flout that rule will not be recalcitrant. and those people are perpetuating and engaging illegality when it comes to our attention we deal with it like this uh turn on in them room for if some rap boy relating to this a -conta -matter. A -conta -matter. Mm -hmm. i have gone a step further to get a tax force from the forestry commission with helicopters mm -hmm. to flash the whole forest reserve of all kinds of mining not just in respect of Akonta, but everything and today the indication i get from the forestry commission is that that particular forest reserve at least for now is you know rid of any illegal mining activity look and maybe i mean the thing is that these forest reserves are thousands of hectares of forest reserves. yes huge you go to moli national park yes the Moli National Park alone is bigger than Upper West Region. Yes. Mm. Bigger than probably Upper East Region. It's a huge landmass. And so, yes, I, I mean, I'm not suggesting that it is, it's an excuse or it's a justification or rationalization of people engaging in illegalities in these forest reserves. But the truth also is that you always will have you know real practical challenges in policing these forest reserves, mm -hmm. which is why in some cases you can find somebody buried deep down into the forest reserve and conducting illegalities there but when it comes to our attention we deal with it like we dealt with this uh, tano nimra forest reserve issue yeah, but